access specifies or access specifies in Java in Java we have when I say access specifies the keywords I ask you to find about the private protected and public those are the access specifiers and you have a table you know they have a table that will make sense We don't have a table that works for them. We have primary, public, protected, and people. Those people, or package them. Those are the four key assessment files in Java. What you have to know is that when I use a private keyword, at this place, what happens? What does it have to do? So in this case, as the first of the access specifies, once you use it, we are restricting our access of whatever that you want to do. If it's an instance variable or a method or a class or any other thing. So we'll be looking at the when to use them and which one to use at which place. Now we now know what the package is. So when I say I'll just look as we see just let me draw some chart for you. S is for save. D for different. Then P for package. C for class. So yeah, I'll be using this in chart here. For the private, for the private, that's when I use the private keyword. Only works when you are within the same class. So same class, same class, same class. Private is accessible. It's not accessible to public. It's not accessible, and it's not accessible. To public. We'll be moving this thing by code. This is what I mean. I'll create another package for my student. By this time, com dot so I've created a fees package. Then I'll create another class that will manage the transactions. So student account. So I'll call the class account of student. I'll put it in that package. So I have this class in this package. So we have two different packages. Two different packages. The fees account and the what? The student package. Then with our student package, anytime you declare a variable like this, this is an instance variable, and there's no access specifier there, it is assumed to be what? A default access specifier or package level. A default access specifier or what? Package level. If there's nothing like what you've been doing so far, it is assumed to be what? Default or package level. Now, what do you mean by default or package level? we when i say package level it means within this package within this package if i create let me create maybe three different versions of student web tech student fsd student DBC student. So I've created three other ones. Student within the student package. So I have FSD, DBC, and a general student package, student classes. Now, 
within this package within this package when i'm inside it you know with the students i have a student a name here when i'm inside a web tech let me just publish that word here, tab i want to create an instance of what the student here and see if i can access the what the name over there so i just click student control space student is equal to what new student i'll use the default constructor then to check the accessibility i'll just say student dot we use the dot operator to check now you can see immediately i press the dot you can see the id is coming and you see the box the box tells you it's coming from what the package level the package is in the box that's great divided into four so immediately you see it's coming from what a package level i can see the name I can see the idea and I can see the what the level. So I can just set the name to you got to what package name. So I've changed the name here. I've changed the name here. Now I'll go back to the student and I'll make the ID private. Now I've made this ID private. And private means it's only accessible within that class. It doesn't go outside the class. So this is private. I'll save it. I'll go back to the web tech. Then I'll try and see if I can see the what? ID. Student dot. You can see the ID is now what? Gone. Because I made it what? Private. And it's accessible here because this web tech class is in the same package with what? This student. Let me come to the account. I'll come to the accountant. Accountant want to check. I'm starting by the I can't want to check the student's what? Name. The account want to check the student's name. So I come to the accountant. He also creates a student. Student. I'll use the default one. Then I'll just say student dot. You can see when I press the dot, I don't get the ID, the level, or any of them here because the accountant is in a different package so once you're in a different package you don't have access to us so when you're in a package just like a clan or a court if you're not with us you don't get access to our privileges our staff so the accountant is in a different package so you can't have access to us the student package so that's why you're not seeing anything there so to make it available to this accountant i'll come to the student then i'll change the level to what public Public means open to all. But open to all. <laughs> so student dot. Now you can see the level is here. And look at the icon. Always look at the icon. You can see it's what? Blue. It's not there's no box there. So this talks to this what? Public. If it's a package, you see that package symbol at the top of it. So I can now access this because this what? Public. So that's the access specifier. So if it's public, it can be accessed what? Anyway. If it's protected, it's only restricted within that what? Locality or that package. So when you go outside the package, you don't see it. If it's private, here you can see in the web tech student, even though you are in the same package, I couldn't access, when I say access, when I say the dot, I couldn't access the what? The ID because the ID is what? private but when i'm inside the student itself i can access the id I can just type id secret tonight i can access it i get in the so the private protected and i've not used the protected yet protected or come let me just use it protected Protected upgrade. Now, for the protected, I've created what? An upgrade what? Method. An upgrade. Maybe for promotion or anything. Now, when I come here, the protected tool works exactly like the what? The package level. When I come to WebTech, I type student. Dot. 
can see the upgrade being what there, but I can see some key at the corner that you can see it. The key means it's being what protected. So what does this mean protected for? When you make a member data member protector, it means it will be only accessible to the current class, the packages, and its drive class or subclasses. What do I mean by drive class? Assuming in your class, you want to divide it into two. You are all web tech students. You want to go maybe framework web tech students and what? Non framework what? web tech students. So I come here. And because you are all web tech students, there is no need in what? Creating a different framework web tech student. You all have some attributes which are common. So you have to inherit from what? The web tech class. So I'll just say framework FW web tech. Finish. Then in Java, to inherit, you use the keyword extends. Extend. You are extending the functionality of the class to another class. So you are creating a new class, FW Web Tech, which is extending from the what? The Web Tech class. It's inheriting from the Web Tech class, borrowing some attributes from the Web Tech class. So extends Web Tech student. So this one is what? Extending from the what? The Web Tech class. So now that we've extended for the web tech class, even before the extension, before the extension, let me create public static word name. New uh, web tech. Let me add some attributes for the web tech. Protected. web feature web feature so i've just created a web feature then i'll come to the this guy that will create a web tech student new web tech student this is not extended yet you want to see the since you can have access to then i'll just say this web tech student so maybe w student I'll say ws dot what web feature. You can see I'm only seeing the what the web feature. That's the attribute of the what the web tech because we're in the same package. Because we're in the same package, I'm seeing this. I'll see the web feature, or I can just set it to something. Now, when I come to, I'm moving to a different part. I'm coming to the accountant. Then I'll create a web tech student. Web tech student. WTS. So you got a new web tech student. Then I'll say WTS dot. You can see I don't have access to what? The web feature. Because I'm in what? A different package. And the web feature is protected. So it will not be accessible outside the package. The only time it will be accessible outside the package is only when it inherits from that class. So let's create. There, where is the class I'm creating? This one. So here, this is what I'll do. If I want this web tech to be accessible here, even though it's protected, this is protected. This feature is protected. But I still want to access it in what? The accountant. The only way to go around it is what? Make this one extends from the what? Web tech. Now, when this accountant extends from the web tech, then I can now say WTS dot. in the web tech. Web tech, we have web feature which is protected. Web test student, counter test. Okay, I don't even need to create this. If I want to access 
the web feature. I can just say call it straight away. So web let me create Web feature is equal to maybe account feature. You can see this web feature. This web feature I'm using here. It's not within this class. It's inside here. Here. It's here. But because the accountant extended from the what? The web tech. I have accessible to what? The web feature. So I can use it here to do whatever I want to do. So if the class, uh, a data member is protected, it means it is accessible inside the package. So it will be at same class, same package, different class, same package, it's still accessible. Then if you go outside the package, the only time you can access it is when you are extending it. So different package, subclass. Unless the subclass of that class, then you can have access to the protected what member. Are you okay with the protected queue? Protected is accessible here within the same package. If you are within the same package, it's just like the default package level. But when you go outside the package, then you can't have access to it unless you can what a child of that class. They can have access to what the protected feature. No. Use it. Yes. Inherit and extend is the same. We extend by inherit or inherit by extend it. Well, we're just trying to access it and it's not coming. So, and I know why it's not coming. Because this is a static method. But it's not static. And this web feature is not static, so it should have been here. So if I change this to protected static, I save it and I come to the account. I should be able to see the web feature here. You can see that it's here. We said yesterday we said with the class if you are not for if it, the block is static, it can only work on what static members. And initially it wasn't static, that's why we couldn't see it here. So I just made it. Static, so that it will be accessible inside a static block. The protected, are you okay with it? It is only accessible same package if you go outside the package, unless you are what? Extending the class or inheriting from that class. You can't have access to it. Then for the public, for the public, it's open to what? Oh, and when it's private, it's only limited to what? that class now now that you know this when to use public when to use protected when to use when is the single let's try and draw for this chart so i will add another one sub class let's
then the public have your say protected different like same package protected how do you put it in protected with it then the package level is already the same package then you want that different class different package so different class different package private private schooling then public protected different class different package we didn't specify whether it was what sub class so no then package no package so yes different class different package different class different package if you are not part of us you can have access to it it's like a plan so that's the plan and then sub class different package the sub class the different package private school public protected sub class different package So that's it. That's the combination. Then, as a developer, you always advise that. Not as a developer. For OOP concept and to encapsulate your class, you always advise that. You make sure your what? Your data members are protected, uh, private. Then you provide what? A public metas, which you want to provide to the outsiders. Always remember that you are creating the class. You are designing the what? The layout. So you specify that. No. This uh, fund that we have here. I could have. Assuming I'm designing it. I want only the outsiders. Or the object. Or the instance of this fund. To be able to switch it on and switch it off. <clears throat> That's the only function I want to add. Give it out. I don't want any other thing. Then I'll hide the other functionality there. When I turn it on, go and turn this motor on. Move this motor to maybe this uh, speed. Turn this to on. The internal ones, you hide them. They are also methods. By you, the, so you, for the design, it's always up to you. I will decide, no, this feature, I'll give it to the, the public. Once you give it to the public, which modifier do you need? The public UA. If you want to hide it from outsiders, you make it to us private if you want to define within the clan or a package level you leave it to what default you don't put anything over there you don't type default when you leave it is by default you call it a package level then if i want to give it only my inheritance or people of my type then i will make it what protected if you are not of my type you can't have access to it when i say of my type when i inherit from you when I inherit from you, I'm of your type. So I'm creating a property. Maybe I'm creating a war to my family. That money or that safe box is only accessible to my what? generation. So I make that one protected. If you're not part of the family, you don't have access to that safe box. Questions? So always make your data members what? Private. Then if you think there's a feature in which should be shared in a subclass. You make that one what? Protected. But don't make data member public. It's not advised. Always make them private. 
unless there's a reason to make it public. The public should always be the matters in which you want them to what outside your class or you want to expose them. <laughs> now that you know how to now that you've known about the access specifiers, then this is what you call usually when I make this. I'll go to, I'm still in the account. When I come to maybe FW Tech or the Web Tech student, I want a class which is in FSD. FSD, then I create, so from this time, you know when to use the, word, the private, protected, and what? Public. I'm creating a feature for the FSD, so I'll make it private. Um, some, something read. I'm just creating a feature. I have this bit. We are saying that to ensure fully object oriented principles, always your class will be what? Encapsulated. And encapsulation means hiding what? Data. And in Java, to hide data, you make it what? Private. Hiding means not exposing it outside your what? Class. So if I want to encapsulate this, I just need to put the private what? Keyword here. Then never to be in a class. Now, what if I want to expose the read? Let me make it attendance rate. Attendance rate. Now I've, I have this feature for the FSD students. I want to know the attendance rate. But it's private. So how do I let people know it? If you want people to know, the best way is to uh, provide a method that will make it what? Accessible to the outsiders. This feature is being hidden. It cannot be changed. But if I want you to see it, I will provide a method for it. So if I want this one to go out, I'll just say public. So when, I, when you see the public, you know what it means. Public, then I'll just say display this. So I'll just give it void. I'm not returning anything. Void. Then get attendance. Get attendance rate. Okay, I'm displaying it. So I need to return something. I want to display the word attendance straight, so I need to return what string. So return. Oh, I'm going to write. So return. Return attendance straight. <coughs> return attendance straight. We've made this one what private. Now I want people to have access to it, so I provide a method for it to what? have access to it. So when I come to any of them, let me just come to the test today. This is too much. Let me create another test for FSD. <coughs> or let me create another package for my testers. So I create another class, new class. You can do it two in one. Com dot. I will not put it in this thing. test. Then FSD test. FSD test class. Then I'll give it public static for admin. PSDM tab and to generate for me. Then I'll create an instance of it. FSD. You can see I'm not seeing it because it's in a different package. So to use, I need to what? import it. Student. So you can see it as what? Imported it. Yesterday we talked about the import statement. FSD, FSD student. Then FSD is so go to new FSD student. Now, when I want to access, when I want to access this feature, that I want to know the attendance rate. When I say FSD dot when I press dot, you can see I'm only getting what? The equal and the what? This. And this is how to look at read these codes. These are our methods. When you see this round, the synthesis is what? A method. Let me go back to the FSD and I'll make this one public so that you see what I'm talking about. Save it. Come here. Control space. Now you have the attendance. Once you see that this is what? A data member. But it's public. But the round one tells this a method. And we are saying because of 
OOP concept. Always avoid making your distance what? Public. Your data member. So this is not advice. So you have to make this one what? Private. Then I will provide a method that will return this thing for me. Now, this approach that I'm doing here. So if I just say, let me provide a constructor that will set the value. So I'll create a constructor, FSD, control space. It asks you which one do you want to generate. I want to generate what? The parameterized one. And note, once you generate a parameterized one, you lose the privilege of what? Getting the what? The default constructor. So there's no longer default constructor in this class. So when I save it, I have to get an error here that this one does not exist. So I must pass something to it. So I just pass profit to it. Now when I come here, I can use the get attendance rate. And this will return me the what? The attendance rate. Now when it returns me the attendance rate, I know this attendance rate returns what? A string. It returns a string. So meaning I have to meaning I have to what? Store the result in a string. So when I come here, I'll declare another string. So maybe I'll just say string result is equal to this. So this string, this method is returning me the what? The what? The attendance rate of the what? The student. And the attendance rate, let me just make it maybe 100% here. So I've made it 100%. Now to see the effect, I'll just print it out. Our usual what? Sys out. So SO2. Then I'll just say if the print line method, if you want to print the result of a variable, you don't have to put it in a double quote. So I want to print the what? The result. I'll just type. I'll just type result like this. So when I run this small piece of code, this small task, I want to run only this part. You can see it prints what? The 100%. So we give the 100% to this constructor. It comes to the class. The, this constructor gives the 100% and gives you to what? This attendance here. Then our method down here comes to take that 100% and return it back to us. The class is always public. It's only the data members that we are focused on. And this approach that I did, this thing that I just did, Having a private member and exposing it through a public method, you call it assessor. Assessor. You have a similar concept in the properties when you're doing Cisha. You did properties. You call this one assessor. Assessor. Assessor means that what? It is assessing a feature which is what? Intended to be hidden. So I'm saying that I want to provide a public access for the what? The attendance. So I created what? Get attendance rate method, which should expose the private data that I have. So you call this one a getter. This is a getter or assessor. Either a getter or what? Assessor. It's doing the same thing. Now there are situations where what if I want to change this rate? Now just note, once you create an object. If I want to change this 100, how do I go about it? I want to change this to maybe 50%. I now have this reference, FSD, maybe 1. FSD 1. I want to change the value of this one to 100. How do I go about it? Any suggestions? Maybe 50%. I want to change it to 50%. Hmm? We created this reference. This is an object. And this object has an attendance rate of what? 100%. I want to change it to 50%. How will you change it to 50%? Assuming I want to change it to 50%. But when you create a new object, it will no longer be referring to the old one. He is saying we should create a new object, FST student. 
to the so called new effect, then our password 50%. But just note <coughs> this is a different object, this is also a different object. But I want to change this one of the first object, I don't want to create a new object where. No, I don't want to destroy. I've, we've already created it. I want to reuse the object and change that one to 50%. FSD1. Uh -huh. Then tell me what to do. FSD1. Uh -huh. How do you assign? Ole, you are saying something. Backbenchers. How do you change it? You want to change it fifty percent? Okay, now let me. Assuming I make this one public. Now I'm asking the same question. I want to change this one to fifty percent. How do I go by it? I want to change the one to fifty percent. Now it's public, so I can have access to it and change it. So I can just say FSD one dot attendance is equal to what? Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Because it's public, I can have access to it and change the value there. But according to encapsulation rules, this is not what advice. So we go back and make this guy private again. Then after that, you come here, you are getting an error. This is private, so you can't have access to it. So this is not accepted. So how do we go about it? Davis, I create a method. It's simple. You don't. So that's it. I create which method? So public different because we are accessing from the outside. I should what public. So public. Uh huh. The method so maybe set attendance attendance then um let's maybe say create the method so create the method you want to change the attendance there's already an attendance there so you want to create a method that will change the attendance give me the sentence i've started for you so what should be the inside what should be inside what do you want to change Huh? No, no, you asked a question. What do you want to change? Attendance. So if I want to change attendance and I'm sending you to go and change the attendance, I must give you the what? The old attendance. So, and attendance of type what? String. So attendance. Then within a method, I'll just say this. Oh, this needs to be void. You are not returning anything. You can return something. I can return boolean to special whether it's true or what? False. So I, I'm just using word. Then I'll just do a hand. Now let's change it. Louis, change it. Now if we are coming with something. There's something they want to change it. Tell me the syntax as I type. The 15. You have to type 50, Ole. You have to type 50. What do you have to type? <laughs> because 50 is stored in the word, the attendance. So there's no need of specify. You are creating generic method. What's happening if I remove that this? Would it work? Will it, will it work? When I remove that this? Why would it work? This, 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 this. You said this got attendance. Great. Would it work? Davis, would it work? Why the use of the disk? You should know why before. Why the use of the disk? <laughs> so, if I remove the disk, what will happen? 
you are you are just bad, but you know it's bad. Try and get it right. Where? Which one? Where is it the same? Here. Uh -huh. And where is it again? Where is it again? You say you have the same. Where is it? Where? They are line numbers, so you can look at the number. Line 16, this one. But there is a constructor. You are not talking about a constructor. You are talking about this method. This one, this one. Uh -huh. Where is it the same? Why is it the same feature you are talking about? In this case, the name are the same. So that's why I use the base keyword. But here, I did the same. So there's no need for the this. So still wait. I want you to know why you are doing the things. This here is telling us that when I remove this, this one gets confused because when you are doing a local block, the local variable supersedes the instance variable. It supersedes, it's local, it's a local champion. He is a recognized one, attendance rate. So if you want to involve an outsider, then you go on with that.